Hi, I'm Keiko with Stereosuri Ranch and today I am going to show you how to needle felt a little toy poodle. And this is a special thanks for Ami um, for a lovely comment and a request. So hope you enjoy. Okay, so first I'm just going to go right on. This one I am going to have a free PDF. The PDF um, pattern size guide for you at my website. I'll put the link below, but you can just go to wisteriasuriranch.com and um, look under the fiber tutorials or just do the search bar. It should be under poodle pattern. Um, but you can just go to my website. You just click on the download um, button at the bottom. If you just, you'll see the page and then you'll see a download button. You just click it and it'll just give you a free PDF. Um, that you can use. So I'll be using this throughout our tutorial. Pretty much everything um, is pretty straightforward and easy except when we do the texturing on the poodle. This is going to be the fun challenging part of this um, tutorial. Um, so let me cover the materials. So you'll want your foam and already I see I've misplace my needles it's over there okay um and you will need let me see a core wool so this is kind of like the crimpy sheep wool that's great for creating the base shape so this felt well you're going to want i have it all written here for you so if you download it and follow along it'll make it even easier um 0 0.25 ounces or about seven grams of this fluff and then for the surface wool, you have several options, but since I don't like to go buy extra materials and I have alpacas here, I'm going to use this washed alpaca fleece and you only need 0.15 ounces or about four grams. Now, you can also use a boucle yarn. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's kind of a textured loopy yarn and that way um, you won't have to, um, twist this like I'll show you later in the video but you can use fluff you can use roving you can use bat um, in your favorite poodle color and um, yeah just kind of use what you got and I'll show you how you can work with a different um, material you own <laughs> or have right on hand you'll also want like a pinch of black for the eyes a pinch of brown for the nose or you can use the black for the um, eyes and nose and since I'm going to add a little tongue I'm getting a little bit of pink um, but again that's optional and any decorative colors I'm just gonna pull some fiber from <laughs> around my desk um, for the collar and the what do you have on your head little flower <laughs> okay so we'll get started and I'll do a close-up so you can see what I'm doing with my hand okay so we're going to do so this dog um, i've tried to make it as simple as possible so the core component is going to be the head and the body and instead of making little legs which is actually a little harder because um you know you've got to get them all even and everything so i we actually just make the paws and add it on so it's actually a lot easier so we'll add the paws the ears a little bit of the snout and the tail but we won't have to worry too much about all the little four legs <laughs> for the poodle. So hopefully that part will be a little easier. The fun part and the time, uh, the most time consuming part is gonna be getting the um, fiber on kind of in a really cute textured poodle way. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make the head first. So you're going to take about 0 0.07 ounces or two grams of the wool. And it's about this much, but it depends on what kind, um, what wool, you, what wool or what core wool you use. It's a little different. So um, you'll want to just kind of take a good look at this part. That's kind of your goal. Oops, right here, the head. It's got all the size and everything there. And you're going to, okay, let's see. So it's kind of easier if you get it like in a little strip like this, but if you don't have it in a strip, you can line it into a little strip too, so. Yeah, so see, this is a little bigger, so it looks like I was rolling it up a little. So you can just kind of get any piece, sort of roll it up. You can do a couple different ways, but I'm going to go like this. And then the tighter you kind of roll it, the less poking you'll have to do. So yeah, you can see how I'm going like this. Get just a tight, 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 tight. 
and it's this hat's going to be a little wider versus tall so it's um, not 100% round okay so then I'm here and then where it kind of ended that's where I'm going to start poking first and depending on your wool you might end up using a 36 gauge a 38 gauge needle these are barbed that's how they tangle the wool so it's a special felting needle um, I usually like to have 36 gauge which is kind of for core and it goes fast so I like to have that and that also is great for when you have to shape things a little bit because it pokes um, and tangles really well um, also but it, oh okay sorry <laughs> um, but when you poke it tends to leave bigger holes so it's not as good for surface work or finer wool 38 gauge is your all-purpose okay so I did this part and then now I'm gonna do the ends so just watch your finger for poking just know which angle your needle is going and make sure your fingers are out of the way if you poke yourself it's okay just kind of squeeze a little blood out and uh, band-aid it <laughs> and uh, your fingers will learn very quickly to uh, stay away from the needle okay and the other thing to help from like you know stabbing yourself with a needle is um only this little part right here is actually barbed so you only have to go in this deep so if you have your fingers this far and you don't poke too deep you shouldn't poke yourself okay okay let's see where was I 38 gauge is the all-purpose and then 40 gauge I actually use 40 gauge a lot as well because I have surreal alpacas and that tends to be um finer wool so and it's great for like detailed surface work so um and if you've seen any of my other videos I don't mark any of my needles I just kind of grab it grab one or two and try it out and see if it tangles and gets the effect I want so I don't really worry about those things okay and these needles last you forever if you just um <laughs> don't like poke the table <laughs> or other hard <laughs> stuff with it okay yeah I have needles from forever so really great cheap um, fun craft okay so there's the head Okay, and you can kind of, you know, you can always use your hands. So here's another good little thing, especially if you're new, you just kind of use your hands to kind of mold it into the way you want. And if it doesn't stay, that's when you get the needle and go poke, 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 like that. Okay. And it's really great when you've got a pattern that you can just go, okay, how's the size? Does it look good? Okay. Okay, just so I can save some time, I already made one that was the size I want. <laughs> okay, exact size. All right, now let's go ahead and make the little muzzle. Now where's... Okay, so you just take a little bit. The muzzle's the part that pokes out, so you do it exactly the same way. So you're just going to roll it just a smaller bit. That might be too much. Okay, so you're just going to roll. You see, okay, yep. Roll, 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 roll. It's a little smaller. Okay, and then same thing. Poke, 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 poke. Okay. And if it's too small, you just add a little more. If it's too big, you can just redo it or take a little bit off and um, just redo it. It's no biggie. And um, it's actually easier if you make it a little smaller and add because <laughs> the wool does get tangled especially when you poke and then it's a little harder to break it apart so something like this real simple and then you are going to let's see I'm gonna see which you just kind of take a look and see where you want your muzzle so I think I'm gonna choose this as the face and then I'm gonna put the muzzle like right here okay and again I went ahead and did this so that I can speed up the video for you a little bit okay okay so at this point just be super careful one end can stay fuzzy ah uh, you know what that's better here I'm just gonna use the one I did so you see how one end is still fuzzy since it's still loose it's gonna tangle better so it'll totally make sense when you do it <laughs> and so see you can um, poke it in much 
more easily. And you're just gonna poke around the base like this. And don't worry if it looks a little strange right now because we're gonna be adding wool on top and it just kind of starts to cover and build up. Okay. Okay, so I'm just poking it in just all around. These are smaller pieces, so you're gonna have to be a little more careful. Okay, so it doesn't look that great right now, but it's kind of like this. And then you can just check it against your size guide. So this one has the snout muzzle. So just check, whoops, check against that. Okay. And again, we'll have a lot, oops, sorry, time to work this out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to move right along, is to make the body. So I'm just going to show you what it's going to first look like. Um, right here, we're actually going to make the tube part first and then, oh, I'm backwards, and then add the rump. So what it's going to look like is we're going to make something like Okay, so I already added that in, but we're gonna make something like this tube, fluffy, that's where the head's gonna attach. And then I'm going to show you how to make a separate little piece to add to the rump. It's just easier when you have smaller pieces like that so you don't have to force it into shape. Okay, so I did add those little feet there, but that's all I did. So we're going to make a tube. I probably need to save a little for my feet. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so it's uh, the pattern will tell you it's about 0.14 ounces, and that's probably about uh, four, eh, 3.54 grams. Okay, so we're going to kind of, sort of, okay, let's see. Let's, you can go ahead and fold it, or you can sort of scrunch it as you go, but I'll just go ahead and sort of fold it and try to make it somewhat even. So we're just really making like a basic sausage shape because we're going to add to it so that it's easier. All right. Okay. So you see how I'm just rolling, 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 rolling. Okay. And then where it came together, I'm just going to poke. Here we go. Yeah. And sorry again, I don't really do any editing. <laughs> well, actually I do a tiny bit of editing. Um, I just sort of stitch the videos I would do together. <laughs> I know that's not real editing, that's okay. Okay, so here you go. Okay, so that got most of it all around. So I think I'm gonna do this fluffy side for the top. So then I'm going to go ahead and poke in the bottom. Okay, like that. And if you, um, and again, you don't have to pre-weigh if you don't have a scale. You can just sort of gauge um, using the pattern. The pattern will help a lot, like kind of get it to the right size and shape. Um, so you just kind of roll it up and just sort of match it before you poke it. See, then you don't need a scale. <laughs> okay, so you'll want to do this until you're satisfied. I'm just gonna, um, Check. Okay, so that's pretty close. So there we go. It's about cool. it's about the right size. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you that's the body. We're gonna add the little feet. Um, so we don't have to do the whole leg and back leg and all that because that actually, you know, trying to make it all the same size, <laughs> it's actually kind of a challenge. Okay, if you want to make lots of feet and legs, that's good too. So this is, I'm trying to see if I can help um, get the beginner people really excited with slightly um, less pieces and parts. Okay, so here we go. So there is a pattern size for the front paws right on your pattern guide. So you can fold it kind of like this. I'm just folding it and then I'm just going to tuck it in like that, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to poke, 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 poke. So, oops, can you see that? Okay. And this again will also be covered by the um, wool. So, so that's all I did. And then I'm gonna make two of those. Okay, so I'm just folding, and you can do it many different ways. This is just a quick, easy way. So have a little fluff 
fold, fold, and then just sort of tuck in the back. So more folding, put it on the foam and poke, 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 poke. Okay. So just like that. Eh, and they're about the same. Okay. So then I'm just going to bring my body back, position it here. And then I'm just going to poke in here first, the little fuzz at the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure it in here all around. There. And more. One more. And just remember, we're going to have textured um, wool on top. So it, it's going to cover all of this. So if it looks like you got a big old <laughs> thing hanging here, it's going to be okay. Okay. So it'll look something like that for right now. And this one does not yet have a rump. Um, okay. So <laughs> now let's see, what do I need to do? Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna bring the other two pieces. Okay, so this is where the head, <clears throat> sorry about that, <clears throat> and neck attach. So I've got the fluffy here and then there's the snout. It's gonna go like, oh, nope, <laughs> get the head on right. Okay, so it's gonna go on like this. It's gonna look like this. And for me, it's easiest if I just put the doggy upside down and gently poke first um, where the neckline is, right here, all around. Oops, sorry, can you see that? So I'm just going right at the neckline, right at the neckline, right at the neckline, okay. Ooh, am I just scooting all over the place? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so once I poke that all in, then it depends. So this extra fluff, if it looks like, like for instance, right here, it can use a little. So I'm just going to go ahead and flatten it out like that. Um, actually, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do, do it that way. If for some reason, like the head's already nice and big and you feel like the bottom needs more, then you can sort of angle it back down and put it like into the neckline like that and again you're not going to be able to see this part because we're going to cover it with the other wool so don't worry just kind of make sure it attaches so that the <laughs> head stays there <laughs> all right okay how are you doing so far <laughs> Yeah, so right now it's in the middle of summer in Texas where I am, so it's pretty hot. Um, but if you're starting to get ready for like the holidays and want to make um, ornaments for gifts, I've got some really fun, easy tutorials. So definitely check out those fun, um, easy videos. Okay, so now it's attached. <laughs> Okay, so the next part, let's go ahead and build up the rump. So, it depending on how yours look, um, you can sort of, okay, so you can just attach fluff. Is that all I have left? Okay. <laughs> I'm not very prepared today, but, um, so you can actually just go like this and build it up, fluff, just fluff, little fluff at a time. Or you can sort of like, um, make it more like a triangular shape depending on like just kind of how you want the rump to be added okay okay so you can just sort of shape pre-shape it and then go oh okay so that that's that's another way I, I would probably build up a little bit more down here okay and then since I did come prepared on this part so this I basically built up a little bit and then I have extra fluff on the edge so then you can just sort of attach it in one piece which is just a little faster and easier just different ways to do it no right or wrong way okay so there 
Okay. The tail is going to come in later because we're just going to use the um, finishing wool for it. Okay, so it's going to go like that. Okay, is that going to work for me? Okay, so I'm just attaching it. And then if I wanted more, I can add more. I think this is going to be fine. Okay. And um, you can look in your pattern and see like this is the little shaded part is where you can kind of add. So just build it up how you want it. Okay. All right, how are we doing so far? Okay, I think we're gonna do the ears. So let's go ahead and make um, two ears. So again, there's a pattern for this. So you can just um, get a little bit of wool like this and I'll just show you on one. Okay, so we're just gonna, this one we're just gonna kind of lightly roll like this, sort of flat and long. And then I'm just going to sort of move that over, poke, poke it together and flat, poke together and flat like this. Okay, and just check the size guide and look to make sure that they're about the same. We're gonna be able to adjust it a little bit when we add on the um, wool and the curly texture. Okay, so let me just go over the surface wool for your poodle. So this is actually Surrey alpaca fiber from my animals or animal. <laughs> And I just cleaned it, meaning I just got rid of the little like um, hay bits and stuff when it was just cut off the animal. And I do hand shear um, kindly and gently. So yeah, I do have videos on that if you were curious to see how I shear my animals. And then I shake everything, clean everything out. And then I hand wash all of this and I get these like really pretty little fluffs. So this is basically washed, um, washed fleece without any processing. Okay, now, um, the next step actually, okay, so this is actually just a regular bat. Um, it's not my animal, but this is kind of a bat where you get kind of a big piece. So a lot like your um, core wool. Those are usually, th those usually come in bats. They can come in roving form, but usually bats are like bigger sheets that are kind of like that. So you can use this as well. Um, this is a little probably harder, but eh, you know, just try and play. Don't, don't get too worried about that. And then there's also roving form. So this has been washed and um, drum carded. So there's a like machine that kind of aligns all the fiber. And then that aligned fiber is usually the bat. And then usually the roving, I think they pull it through. So it's more like a um, thinner like this. So a lot of um, hand spinners, um, use this because it's really easy to draft and spin in it into yarn okay so you can use any of these fibers it's all going to be the same concept and idea on how we're going to add the texture you can also get boucle yarn i think that's what they're called they're kind of like the little textured ones maybe just google it and see um i don't think i have one around so anyway <laughs> okay so this is gonna be the fun part, hopefully super relaxing, um, but I'm going to have to warn you, it will take a little bit of time, so you'll need some patience. Okay, so to make the curly kind of texture, so I'm gonna see if I can show you. Light, not sure. Okay, so you see how I have this cute little curly texture on the dog. Okay. So the way I did it is you basically kind of spin a little piece of yarn. And the way you do that with your fingers, of course, if you have a spindle or a spinning wheel, you can do it that way, but it's just more fun and you're just playing with fiber. So you kind of draft it kind of like the roving like this. And then what you do is you start, okay, so you're gonna twist it Okay, so you're gonna twist it like this. See, okay, so you can already see it's twisting like this. 
Oops, camera. Okay, you see that? Okay, but to make a little bit longer so you don't have to make tiny pieces at a time, what I do is I do this and then I wrap it on my finger. And then I just kind of start using both fingers. Okay, so you're gonna have to practice <laughs> and have fun with it. Okay, if you're having trouble, have somebody else hold one end and just keep twisting. Okay, so you see that? Okay, and then you just kind of keep twisting, 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 like that. And then you just wrap it when you get extra. Just keep twisting. So I'm just twisting. Just keep going the same way, though. If you go the other way, I'll just undo itself. Okay. And you put in enough twists so that it stays together. So see, I'm just doing this. And I like to make it relatively fine, like thin, because it's a small poodle. It's a toy poodle. Okay. So I just want to show you. So obviously you could have wrapped this a couple times, but see if you kind of let go. Isn't that cool? So this is a single ply yarn. And then when it does this, now you've got double ply yarn. Okay, so it's really fun. I could do this all day, that's why. <laughs> okay, so then how to put it on. I'm gonna use the years. Let's do one. Okay, so I'm gonna just hold it, and it's okay if it unravels, because you can just poke it in. Oh, and this one I'm gonna need a finer needle. Where are you? Oh, this one, maybe, yeah. Okay, so can you see? think so okay oh sorry okay so see I've got that and you can just kind of um, release it and you can just start poking just to fill it <laughs> okay so that was a little too much twist so I might do like that okay now you see why it's gonna take a while <laughs> but it's very relaxing okay so I got like the bottom bit. Let me show you up close. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so just gonna keep doing it a little bit. If you kind of figure that out, that's what you're gonna do, okay? So I start kind of like twisting, 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 and I get a nice little twist. I usually start with both hands, both fingers, I mean. Okay, like this, and then you just wrap it, and then you just kind of hold it here, and then wrap it a little bit more. Once you got like two rolls, and you can do it kind of loose too if you don't want it to be super curly. Okay, you take a little practice. Okay, so keep going, keep going, keep going like that. And then you can just put the end like that. So this one's a little looser, which is totally good. There we go. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Let me also show you with the roving and a bat, just so you can see. So this is the roving. I'm gonna cut a little piece that doesn't get too long. So the same thing, it's just gonna be a little smoother, so you might need to add a little more twist to it um, to give it that extra curly. Cause um, you know, with a natural fiber, you already see the curls. So if you can just sort of utilize that. Just going, going, going. Okay. And I'll see if I can just do it. It's almost the same color. I don't think it's the same girl. Oh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. So I only got a tiny little bit, but you can kind of see. See? No, it's pretty much the same. So that's how you add texture. Um, also like, okay, so uh, we'll go, you can take a little bit more time to do that. I'm not gonna do every single one on the year. I'll finish that in a minute. Okay, so for instance, like this nose, you're not gonna wanna like put the curlies on necessarily. I mean, you can, um, but if you just want to like cover the nose with this kind of wool, 
what I usually do is I just sort of fluff it up and kind of rub it to give it a little bit of thickness and then you can just sort of poke it in. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so let me um, finish the ears um, off camera while you work on that. And then I'll attach the ears and I'll kind of show you how I do it with the body and then the nose and the eyes and all the other fun stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm back with the ears. So I just finished the ears. And if your fingers get kind of like too, um, you know, the circulation is getting cut, you can use a stick or anything to wrap it on. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach the ears. So let's see. There is a pattern guide on where to attach it, but you just kind of look and see where you want your ears. Some years I do attach like kind of backwards, like on the inside and lower it. But with these, I just kind of put it right next to the head just because um, the top is going to get covered with um, more curls. So I don't really, it's a little easier to position when you just can poke straight in. Okay, so here, here, here. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. <laughs> Went right off into my own little world. Okay, so just poking in the signs. But I'm back. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah. That's really cute. <laughs> okay, so we got this far. I'm just sort of cleaning up when I'm looking at it. Okay. All right. So we are going to just add a bunch. So now you can see why, like maybe the yarn that's already, like the boucle that you can um, just attach would be a little faster and easier. I guess another option you could do to speed it up is um, just attach it kind of like a fluff. I'm going to try that. I wouldn't on the head just because it's a little more of a delicate area, but we can attach it. Let's try how it goes. We can attach it like this and then just add a few extra curls. See if we can speed that up a little because it took me a really long time. But if you don't have raw fiber, um, not raw, I'm sorry, like washed curly fiber and you have like the robing, this is going to be hard to do. Like if you have it already too smooth, like this already has some curls. So it's like you already got some texture. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this might be good. <laughs> good enough. I don't know. Yeah, so I think I'll just kind of cover it up once and then we'll go over it and maybe add some curls. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look for a little more of a curly area. So this um, alpaca fleece is very fine and from a younger, I think it's a younger girl. So, you, you know, al alpaca fiber, <laughs> there's quite a variance in the coarseness or fineness. So you're going to want some soft, delicate fiber, especially for smaller projects. And the length of the fiber doesn't really matter. So a younger, finer animal is totally okay. Like a lot of times the babies, if you shear them, if they're born like in November and we shear them in April, they're gonna be a little shorter and their neck, neck fiber is gonna be super short. But for projects like this, it would be totally fine. So just have um, <laughs> various fibers all around. So. <laughs> A little more organization. <laughs> okay. So, go like this. 
So I think this would work, especially if you don't want to, you know, spend all day for some, <laughs> all day, um, just creating the little curls. Okay. Um, just a slightly faster way. And you really don't need much. Oh, did I not mention? No, I think I did. You only need like four grams or 0.15 ounces of the fluff. So it's a really tiny bit. And this pattern is um, available for free at my website. I just wanted to give you a fun little gift for your summer project or whenever you find it. Um, but I do sell other um, patterns and tutorials. So this one's just the size guys. So you just saw the one page picture with the size. My PDF tutorials that I sell on Etsy have the size guide as well as like the picture step-by-step -step, um, all for downloading and then the free videos on YouTube. Those are always free so you can enjoy it. So yeah let's see it's looking really cute yeah thank you um ami um left me a lovely comment on youtube and you totally made my day so <laughs> and you mentioned uh you like a poodle tutorial so i was like you know what that would be really fun so i uh worked on my little prototype one over there that you saw earlier and here we are. So, and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. I think it was Ami, A H M Y, right? Yes. Okay. So, so the bottom, just depending on, you can just cover it flat, or right now I'm not going to worry about it. Um, okay. So. That looks pretty good without curling. Um, if you want more te texture, all you have to do is kind of add a few little cute little loops. So I'm gonna see if I can go like this. Okay, so, and then we're gonna just, oh, another way you can do it. Okay, so you can um, twist it a little bit and then go ahead and leave a little bit of fluff and poke that fluff in to secure it. And then as you um, poke it in, so you're gonna, let's see if I can do it. It's not as uh, clean, but you can kind of twist and then poke, twist. Just don't pull on your needle because that's one way to break it if you pull too hard. Okay, so, but you see like you can kind of twist it as you go if your fingers get too, um, <laughs> falls asleep on you. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this one doesn't have the picture tutorials. I've just not had time for that. So no picture tutorials, but usually the size guide is the big one. So, all right. Ooh, cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, so good. We found a quicker way to do this and still get pretty good close results. Okay, so. See how I just kind of added some fluff on top? Yeah, good. <laughs> Happy with that, actually. So I would do the same for the back and all. Okay, now let me just do the face part. So right where the eyes are going to go, um, just so I can see the eyes, I'm not going to put too much fluff. So I'm just going to do the same kind as I did on the nose to give it a little bit. Okay, so I'm just covering her face. Okay, can you see? Actually, my screen's going asleep on me. Let's see. Okay. And you can make this obviously in any color. Okay, so there we go. So that got the base. Okay. Now, as I do that, I'm like, I want to add a little bit more fluff to the nose because it's, I can kind of see the, hmm. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? 
Okay, so I'm just adding. And I am using the finer gauge needle, which is probably 40. So there's 40 and then 42. But you know how I said they don't break that easily? Well, this one I kind of dropped and caught mid-air. <laughs> Look, it kind of bent. <laughs> but you can still use it. It hasn't broken yet. So... And these things are usually pretty inexpensive, so I guess I could just replace it. But yeah, if you've seen some of my older videos, <laughs> I'm still using that same needle. <laughs> okay. All right. Now around the head is going to be a little more delicate, so I definitely want to spend more time up here doing it really kind of nice and tidy and fine. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this and curl, curl, curl. Okay, so get this. So another way you can just kind of do it in shorter bits like that. And then just wrap it so it doesn't get your finger all. Okay, where do I want to go? Okay, so I'm going to go from the center so that I can leave. Okay, so I'm doing the center forehead right now. If you can see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to leave like the space for eyes down here. So I'm going in the center forehead and kind of making a little arch-ish. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And also, like, once you get the eyes in and then you add the wool, it'll also look better, too, because then you'll know where everything is. So, meanwhile, let me just kind of, I'm going to push down where the eye is going to be so I can sort of see. Okay, so let me do both sides and then I'll show you. I have to look at this doggy. Hello, little doggy. Okay, so... All I did was I kind of poked where I'm planning to put the eye. Uh, there, there, okay. Where I'm planning to put the eye so that I can sort of cover around it. And then once I get the eyes and everything else in, then I'll probably go back and fine tune it again. But let's just keep going. Okay. I'll just let you watch and if you want to fast forward just fast forward or uh, play it on like you know 1.25 I think it's in the settings um, for any YouTube video you can just put it on settings and put it at like 1.5 1.25 and then I can sound like a chipmunk for you <laughs> oh, that'll be fun okay. or just what is it called you just scrub it or something or you just go for fast forward so anyway Okay, so I'm just kind of going in like that. And I would do that for the back of the head, side of the, well, right now I'm doing the side of the face, but I would do it also for the back. Okay. So, just so I can show you how everything goes. <laughs> okay. So not even yet. Okay, that's okay. All right, so actually, why don't you keep working on the back of the head and just kind of round the eyes, and then I will do that and be back to show you the eyes and nose and mouth and tail. Okay, so I'm back, and um, one thing I do notice about this little one compared to this little one it just keeps getting bigger and bigger <laughs> so i um okay so one thing you can do if it kind of gets super fluffy like that i'm using a different wool so that's part of the reason um wool meaning the surface wool so this one might have been a little fluffier i don't know um I also haven't spent as much time poking it in. So this one, I was just, you know, 
spending my happy little time just poking 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 so this one if you can kind of still see is still pretty fluffy so when it looks like this and it's like you're like oh my goodness I have a hairy little monster um all you have to do is like just spend more time sort of just poking and tighten the wool on um, just you know the face the ear the head and all of that and so I will do that later um, since this is more to show you the process and you can just kind of enjoy it um, I am going to move on to the eyes so you'll want to get a little pinch of black um, <laughs> and then like your um, okay all right let's just keep going okay so we got a little pinch of black you can still see and you'd be surprised at how tiny little bit you need so you'll just go ahead and get like maybe two little fluffs and uh, this is for the eye so and then you're just gonna roll it between your fingers like this okay and usually when we make these <laughs> they're too big <laughs> let's see actually they're okay a lot of times they end up being a little bigger than we want them okay but I think they're okay I'm gonna make them a little more like a bean shape or longer eyes not super round so kind of like this so I don't know if it's a bean or a rice shape it's not quite there but kind of like that okay and then where we already kind of poked the hole we're going to go ahead and tuck it in so when we poke it in it's gonna get even smaller so as you poke it in Let's see if I can do this. As you poke it in, you're also going to be shaping it into place. Ah, sorry. Okay, so I can't see. Let's see. What am I doing? Okay. So I'm just poking it in and poking it into place. Let me look at it. Okay. Ah, actually, that's not bad. So I got one eye in. Let me get the other one in. And of course, you know, matching, it's always a little tricky, but it just takes practice. So I'm going to just have to look at it and do it so I can match it because it's a little harder on the second time. So I'm kind of poking it and I'm trying to match it. So it looked a little big on one end. So I'm sort of carefully poking it into match it and okay okay so it's in it's not quite exactly the same yet but um okay so okay I see that the wool kind of covered this one so I'm gonna poke so I'm just adjusting it a little bit okay that one's a little bit better and just be patient it does take some practice but every piece yeah get better okay this is looking more like a little okay so now that we've got this then we're going to put the little white part because it kind of brings it up um more perky looking so i just get a little bit of white that's probably again too much but i'm just gonna go ahead and roll it roll it roll it Uh, I think that's too big okay so that looks a little too big to me so I think I'm gonna split this one into two and if it's too small it does disappear right into the eye but we'll try this Let's see and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place it at the very top of the black part of the eyes and and poke it in kind of like a, you know when a dog's looking right at you as they're sitting on the floor okay I'm sorry I'm gonna have to do this and then show you okay. just carefully poking it in and again as I'm poking it in I'm sort of poking it into place and shape at the same time so it's very careful needlework and just again be careful that you don't bend your needle as long as you kind of gently poke it in and sort of um you know I mean, there's a little bit of moving around but 
I have not usually broken these guys. Okay, concentration, concentration. <laughs> okay, so I like how this one went in. And if your little whites disappear, you just add more. It's really okay. Okay, that'll do for right now. So you see how I put the eyes in the... It's like ready to bark. Woof, woof. <laughs> okay, and then um, with a little kind of a fawn white dog, it might be really hard to see, but I do like to add a little bit of white under the eyes. Okay, can you see on this one? Right here under the eyes, I just put a little kind of like a half moon. So I just grab a little piece and sort of go like that. So you get like this kind of shape. And then I fold the ends in because I don't want that to be kind of loose. So, and then the other one. Okay, so it's kind of like this. Oh, where? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there. Okay. Uh, where did the other one go? It just blew away. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like a fluff. Okay, so again, just kind of get a little piece. And that's kind of how you also make the um, little black outline of the mouth. So just kind of doing that. Okay, well, that one's too big. Okay. Okay, and then you're just going to outline the bottom. Now, like I said, this one's kind of a fawn dog, fawn white dog. So I might not be able to see. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this looking at it. Oh my. Okay, here we go stay <laughs> and if it's not going in it's like a small part it's probably um your needles too thick so you would need a finer gauge oh okay actually it looks pretty good so i think this side is the one that i did it let me get the other side in so all i'm doing is i'm just putting a little bit of white at the bottom and it really kind of adds to your dog You can just see this, even though it's a white-ish dog. Oh, oh my goodness. Can't see very <laughs> Okay. All right. That's going to do for right now, but uh, you can always take more time. Okay. Let's get the nose in. So I am going to use kind of a light brown. Well, I don't know. Do we want a little black nose? Actually, this one. Hmm. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. So let me just try both. A little bit of a brown piece. I'm just rolling it a little bit wider because the nose, are, nose is a little more triangular. Okay, let me see how it looks. Oh, that's cute. All right, you know what, we'll stick with the brown. So let's see, I'm gonna put it at the tip of the nose muzzle and I'm just I first usually put um, the outline of the nose just in case I need to move it I don't want to secure it in too tight and then I'll look okay so see it's a little off center so since I only tapped it in what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoochie woochie <laughs> it over just a bit weak, weak. here Better location. So then, as I'm doing this, I'm going to try again with the outline. Okay. Now it looks a little squished. So let's see if I can tighten it up a little. Mm hmm. It's so much fun to, s oh, there's my rooster. One of the roosters. <laughs> okay. So it's really fun to see these little cute wool dogs come to life. Okay. And they are exactly perfect however they come out. Okay. So here you go. So cute. <laughs> I made yours is super cute too. Yay. Okay. So then, I mean, 
Honestly, you could probably end it right here if you wanted to, but I'm just going to show you the other little techniques so you can choose to do it or not. Um, okay, so this part, I'm going to go ahead and use black. I'm going to try to make this somewhat long and thin. I'm just going to kind of roll it into a single, kind of a tight little string thread-like. Okay, and then... And also another way you can do it, this kind of does a quick pre-felt. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to kind of take the center, poke it right under the nose. Oh, sorry. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so it's going right in. And then it's I'm going to wrap it up a little, so like that. Ooh, can't see. Okay. Then I'm probably going to want to see where it's going to end, so I'll probably want to end it like here. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to just, I'm just poking in. It's really hard to not see what you're doing, so... Okay, now I made it too long. Um, you can either wrap it around. Oh, that might actually look better. Or cut it off. Actually, I'm going to wrap it there. So all I did was I just folded it over at the end. That's good. Okay, that's all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can cut it. I generally don't like to cut stuff. I should have made it a little shorter. I didn't. So if you do cut it, cut it with a little extra so you have a way to tuck it in and hide the ends. Okay. So I'm just folding it back and hiding the bit. Okay, so there we go. Well, now I'm looking at it. That might be too much. See, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> totally good. All right, so then just do it again. No biggie. Okay, or actually here. Let's try it the other way that I was originally going to do it. So I'm, I just kind of pulled it up, stretched it. No worries. Cut it off. Let's see if that works better. And again, you know, this is supposed to be fun, so if it doesn't quite work out, just play with it. Okay. All right, let's get all this out of the way, and we're going to try again. Let's see. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. So, kind of like what I said um, about, like, cutting it, and then I didn't actually... <laughs> I just told you not to do this and here I am doing it. Okay. You know how I said don't cut it and then leave it like just that? See what happens? Well, <laughs> so I needed to cut it a little bit longer and then, um, what is it? Uh, sort of fold it over. Um, so what I might do is I'm going to see if I can just fold it a little bit over. Okay. So if I were doing this just like without shooting a video, I would actually probably take the whole thing out, out once fully and redo it with a better length. But since I want to make sure I get this video done for you, I'm just going to go on. All right. That is going to work for me right now. <laughs> All right, let's go with the tongue. Okay, so I'm just getting a little bit of pink. These are actually just... Um, the regular wool bats that I use for the core bodies and stuff and I just dyed it with Kool-Aid. I think I have a how to dye using like the Kool-Aid, the, the really cheap little um, packets without the sugar um, and you can just do it right in your kitchen um, using a microwave to set the um, dye so you can make all sorts of fun colors. It's a really great way to get um, a bunch of fun colors, especially for kiddos. That's really cool. Okay, so I got a little tongue shape, and I think, yes, I do have a pattern size guide. I mean, you can just do it. 
I'm just going to poke it into shape a little tighter. Okay. Okay, this tongue looks too big to me, but maybe this doggy has a long tongue. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it looks way too big. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it. So again, you can remake it, but I'm just showing you other little quick tricks that I sometimes use. I just folded it in half, so it's a thicker tongue. And then by, oh, sorry, poking it in tighter, it's going to be flat. So, there. Now, the size looks good. Okay. Got the tongue. Oh, I'm wrong thing hand. I'm watching. Okay. And then I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm just poking it in. Let's see. <laughs> it looks cute. Okay. There. Like that. Yay. Okay. So obviously I want to tighten this little doggy up, but let me just show you the tail. Um, I definitely would add more to the back side here, probably more curls and make this a cute little fluffy, fluffy poodle. Um, but let's just go ahead and do the tail. So you can do the tail two different ways or as many different ways as you like. You can use the core wool and kind of do the tail like this wrap it up now here I'll show you this is the one that's gonna take a little bit more time so you can go like this oh okay see I gotta use my I just switched over to a thicker gauge needle or yeah because it wasn't getting together okay so you can kind of create like a little tail base and then you would just add the curlies This is probably going to look super cute. Okay, so, I don't know. Let me see. I'm thinking, so I hadn't thought this one through too carefully yet. So we'll just kind of go on the fly. So, like this. So I'm just going to wrap it. Mm. There. Okay, now I need a finer gauge. You could kind of do it like that where you kind of fluff it out it probably needs to be a little smaller the other option is to just get a lot of extra fluff and make it and actually you're just going to kind of go <laughs> like this on a really thick piece until it twists on itself like that make sure it's stable and you can just attach it like this so it just kind of looks like that so that's the two ways you can do it I think I'm gonna do this one for today so let me just and here's another just quick you can just sort of fluff it and add yeah. this one's gonna have a really extra fluffy too uh, all right so let's just assume it was kind of fully completed then all you do is you just attach it however you want so if you want it going this way you can attach it down here there or you can just make it off to the side well <laughs> I looked at the dog and she goes, uh, you forgot my collar and my decoration. <laughs> so I'm back and we will get her collar. So just in case you don't know how to do that yet, I'm just going to grab a little bit of this pretty colored roving. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically do this with my hands, roll it and pick the place I like. Okay. So I'm just going around okay and I'm just gonna 
poke it in the back first to secure it. Like that. Oops. Um, but if I want it tighter, you can just um, hmm, let me use this one. You just poke it in. And you can accessorize them however you like. Um, you can get super fancy and add cute little crystals or a little heart necklace. Uh huh. Okay, so that's your collar, and you can just poke it in further. Maybe add a little charm, that would be cute. Okay, and then if you wanted to add something to the hair or the ears, like a ribbon, um, let's see. You can probably just like tie a ribbon. Let me see if I can just do a ribbon. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> I don't know if I like. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just wrapping it around and I'll see if it even works. It's like a little bow. Oh, it might actually work. Wing. Okay. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just added a little bow and one ear. <laughs> okay. That will work for today, right, little one? Okay, so I think all I did, I don't know, I, I should have pre measured two similar, but all I did was I just kind of did like that and wrapped it around my hand or fingers, grabbed the center. And then I'm just poking in right at the center, right at the top of her ears, right here. Yeah. So it kind of looks like that from the side. And then you can just kind of fluff it out or shape it however you want. Okay, so it's not quite even on both sides. Well, uh, it's getting there. There! <laughs> now, there we go. All right, enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!